32 red and foot asylum. When the bell rings, our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be Kieran McCann. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing black trunks and weighed in at 12 stone, 13 pounds. Coming to us from Split, Croatia, he brings a professional record consisting of five wins, nine defeats, one draw, with three of his five wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Josip Perkovic. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing white with red and weighed in at 12 stone, 11 pounds. Hailing from Carstairs, Scotland, he is undefeated with eight wins. Six of his eight wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Willie the Hutch Train Hutchinson. Right, boys. You both know the rules, obey my commands at all times. When I tell you to break, break cleanly, step back, throw no punches, keep your heads out of the way. Most importantly, protect yourself at all times, shake hands. Seconds out. Willie Hutchinson, 20 years old in the red and white shorts. A really talented young fighter coming out of the Dominic Ingall stable in Sheffield. It's nominally listed as a, a super middleweight contest, this one, but Hutchinson way over the light heavyweight limit. And I think long term, I think it's looking pretty unlikely that he's going to be fighting at 12 stone. But he certainly so far, Barry, has looked very sharp. No, he has. I think I've been quite impressed with him. I think, you know, with, as you see in here, nice and cat for a young kid, especially early in your career. You want you rush your work. You want to over impress and show off. And even though he's a he's a he's a showboating kind of guy, he still you know, doesn't panic, doesn't rush his work too much, and just works in behind by solid left hands. And he obviously switches quite often, but he takes his time and looks for the target. Celebrates his 21st birthday next month. Had an impressive victory on the Stevenage bill where Billy Joe Saunders won his world super middleweight title and you see Liam Smith, uh, Liam uh, Williams on the far side of the ring sitting watching on with great interest and he actually shares a place with Willie Hutchinson. Liam says he can't boil an egg. <laughs> Turned pro in 2017. Six stoppage wins in his eight victories so far. That's good there from Hutchinson. Just almost fainted the jab there and just coming up with the left hook. But kept it nice and long. Didn't shorten the gap too, cl too close too soon. Now you see Barry talking about switch hitting, now fighting out of the southpaw stance, leading off with the right hand. Yeah, and he does it so well that sometimes you don't even notice yourself, do you? You're watching, you don't even realize, obviously, to go, hang on, he's uh, changed stance here all of a sudden. A very good amateur, he's a Scottish, Great Britain and European junior champion, and he won a gold medal in the World Youth Championships back in 2016, so he's got the pedigree, he's got the amateur schooling, Just finding it a little bit difficult to break the defences, but he's doing, but he's probing all the time. He's throwing jabs to the body and the head, doubling up sometimes with it. So he's looking for the gaps. And again, just working his way into the round, which you should in the first round. Have a good look at your opponent. Don't take any silly risks. Perkovic has fought on British shores before. He's been a pro since 2016. Stopped in April, though, by Dan Aziz at your call. Having gone the distance with the likes of Miles Chinquin and Stephen Ward over in Belfast, as there Burton. A oh, fairly quiet opening round. First round, Hutchinson doing enough, but not winning by any great avalanche distance. 
No, but he was the only one throwing punches, so obviously he, he wins by default almost. But, but he was just having a look, and I think that's fine. Like, and I, again, I think that shows a little bit of, for a 20 year old, a little bit of maturity in his work, but he's not gonna, looking to rush anything too much. And just you know, looking at the gaps, he was probing with the jab, doubling up, head and body, looking for what was available, what happens when he throws the bat of the body, do the hands come down, do the, do the elbows flay open a little bit, and, and just assessing. Forty's amateur career for the Spring Hill Club, Willie Hutchinson. Dominic Ingle really thinks that he has a talent on his hands. Managed by Richard Schaefer, who was for a long time the business partner of Oscar De La Hoya. Yep, and he's, he's here tonight, wasn't he? In the ring with him at the start yep. of the fight. Over here, of course, with Joe Joyce as well. Dominic Ingalls gone on record and says, you wait till he's about 25, I'll, have, yeah. I'll reckon that he'll be a match for anybody in the division. Oh. And look at the effort, Perkovic just threw a little right hand, a nice little screw shot there from Hutchinson, just blood in the nose there to Perkovic. I was just about to say that, actually, that you know, the, the hardest thing for when someone turns pro as young as he did, Hutchinson, is holding them back a little bit so they get that little bit of man a little bit of maturity before they step up into class. Yeah, he's going to get some uh, fights under his belt, isn't he? He's only, only 20 and he's got eight pro outings already. Yeah. Turned pro in 2017. Not too many... Uh, Attacking intentions from Perkovic to date. Oh, and that makes it a little bit more difficult there for Hutchinson. But I still think he's finding the gaps, and, and again, he's not—he's not closing the gap too soon and, and getting caught with anything silly that comes back. He's keeping it nice and long. He has the advantage in reach, and he's using that. I think it's a, it's a nice little um, mature display so far here from Hutchinson. Yeah, he's a personable lad as well, and, and I know it's—you know—maybe it doesn't mean that much, but. It goes yes. some way in this business. If you've got a present, pleasant demeanour and you're making friends as you go along, there's a nice little yeah. left hand from Perkovic. But he, he, he he's winning friends early in his career, which is really what he wants to be doing. Of course, you know you got to, in, 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 more than ever before. This in this generation, you have to sell yourself. You know, Indeed, to, to the max. But also, if you can try and keep a you know, a nice demeanour about you as well, that, that you know the old generation like yourself, John, and me also now, <laughs> you know, can take to that. Then you come, you're ticking every box, aren't you? But another dominant round here, again from Hutchinson, without really stepping on the gas yet. Oh, nice right hand, last real meaningful punch of a round that Hutchinson dominated. Into the third round, it's a six round of this one, and Hutchinson doing enough to pretty clearly take the first two rounds on the card of the referee who's scoring, the referee being Kieran McCann. It's a little bit more positive here, Perkovic, and that might be that might work well for Hutchinson. Richard Schaefer on the far side on the front row left hand side as we look at it away to the left of liam williams and tyson fury also watching on at ringside made his uh, money as a swiss banker richard schaefer yeah i thought you were going to say tyson fury then well, i'm sure he'd say he could have done so <laughs> if uh, you know he, he isn't, if his career keeps going the way it is he'll have enough money to as much as a swiss bank Let's him just go back to the, the jabbing up and down with that left hand. And then that right hand over the top. There's a feint. He, he wants Perkins to lead off. But he needs a little feint with that front foot just to draw something out there of Perkovic. Between rounds. Dominic Ingle telling him to pick his punches, don't just throw 
a hailstorm of punches. One, two, and then step back. Yeah, he wants more purchase, more weight on the shots, I think, doesn't he? Uh, Dominic Ingle. And these, these sort of fights are difficult. When you've got a, a guy who's, who's not really looking to fire back and not really engaged, then it, it makes it harder for you to, to show what you're all about. All part of the learning process. It is, that frustration part, of course, yeah, it's keeping you cool and keeping your composure. Perkovic trying to keep just a, a tight defence and keep mobile. But that's why I think a few, a few feints here from Hutchison might just draw something out of Perkovic. Speared him with a left-hand lead through the guard there. A smear of blood is there now coming from the nose of Perkovic. Good double jab there, the second one especially landing through the target. Three rounds out of three, Hutchinson leading the way. Didn't quite get the full turn there and on the hips, touches in there with that little uh, counter right hand. At the time and the speed there, just a little bit short of the target. Perkovic grinning theatrically there when he made him miss with that straight right hand, which did miss by a fair distance, to be fair. So he threw a feint then, and, and Perkovic just you know, went straight defensive, put those uh, EMFs on up tight like that, and there was, there was room for the body there, like that. Oh, solid body shot inside there, good right hand from Hutchinson. Doesn't look like he weighs 12 stone 11, does he? He's a real lean sort of athletic frame yeah. that he has. But he's tall. Yeah, he is. At Lee, well, he, I mean, his official height six one. I tell you what, he's all of yeah, that. Yeah, he is. You get some boxers who have sort of stage heights. Mike Tyson used to claim stop, he was six stop. foot, which he wasn't. Stop looking at you, me, John. You, you, I'm, you I'm always claimed you're five ten. Didn't I'm you? all of five seven. I'm Ish. not having it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Just maybe a little, as, as Dominic Ingle was saying, just maybe a, a few too many punches there, but he could have maybe just took a second. You got more, you got more time in close than you think. So you throw a few shots, just pause for just just a half a second just to see the gap. And he didn't want him to be falling in and smothering his own yeah, of work. Of course, yeah. But again, it's frustrating and difficult with a guy who's not, you know, who's not looking to engage back with you and not giving you any sort of a, any openings for anything at all. So when, the best time to throw up is when someone else is throwing, there's, a, there's an opportunity to land back sometimes. Well, he's winning very much in the comfort zone here, Hutchinson. Not under any sort of pressure at all, only a pressure to try and look good. That's a nice double jab again there, Hutchinson. He steps behind the second one, that's good. The second one's a harder shot than the first. Another very clear round into the bag for Willie Hutchinson. So just two rounds to go, and uh, on Barry's card, well, it's not the hardest score sheet to keep, is it? He's got it four out of four for the 20-year-old Scotsman.
What he hasn't done, he, he did it in the first round, he jabbed to the head and then one to the body, then came back with the right hand over the top. And you know, he missed, I think he missed with the right hand in the first round, but I think that's the, I think that's the right combination for him now. Because he likes to step behind the second jab anyway, Hutchinson, so that gives him the nice, you know, he hits him in the first one, the, the second one there to the stomach, pushes him back, and then makes space for that right hand as he's moving forward. Is he able to find something worthwhile as Perkovic aims a speculative sort of right hand? That was a good right hand there from Hutchinson. <laughs> this is where that fate will come into play now here. Big solid, real big over exaggerated one with the front foot. Well, you've got to go. He's in there, just a little bit of pressure here, Perkovic. Not, not massively, just a little bit. Now, just turning the screws a bit here, Hutchinson. Oh, good shot. Left hand. Perkovic just covering up and doing no more than survive now. Only one round to go after this. An average journeyman always likes to go the full distance oh, and mainly because they can work next week Indeed. That's why. Oh, he wasn't far off with that little left of the cup was he I see Dominic Ingle shouting in the background keep working keep working right up to the bell So the final round as Willie Hutchinson moves on towards extending that undefeated professional record. This is ninth fight. Oh, nice there from Perkovic there. Sticking inside the jab and throwing the right hand. That first time since the first round there, jabbing up and down, and then that right hand. I think he could have more success, Hutchinson, but it'd be a more of a scrappy affair for him. I think he could land with a bit more shots, but he'd have to be inside, roughing it up, pushing and pulling around. So, I can understand, I know Dominic Ingle wants to instill that, that discipline in his work. And, you know, I, 
I think it's been that. I think he could have done a little bit more at times, but I think it's been a, a, a decent display for him against a guy who, who has been looking to engage, which makes it more difficult. But I think he's for a young kid, he's kept his composure and he's listened to the corner and instruction, and kept his discipline without and hasn't taken anything back because of that. So I was going to say he's won pretty much every minute of, course, of every yeah. round, hasn't he? Which is always on the cards anyway, to be honest. But yeah, again, he could have been. Like, I think just clipped in there with the right hand. Yeah, he'd like to just find a spectacular finish and another taunting smile from Perkovic as he made him miss again. But he hasn't chased for it or panicked for it. And you see that at the time with young pros. They, they look so much for that show real finish that they end up being in real scrappy affairs and, and he hasn't done that. It's good there again. Clipped by left hand there. Trying to launch some big right hands in the closing seconds, Hutchinson, but just can't find the punch that he wants. And so Perkovic finds his way through to the final bell. The referee is the man who scores as the sixth round is completed. And I'd be frankly astonished if it were not six rounds out of six. It will be, it's guaranteed six. And that, that was always expected, but it was it was how he performed. And you know what, it wasn't a blow your, blow your socks off type of performance but I think it was again for a 20, 20 year old boy or man I should say sorry I think it was a nice control display you listen to the corner he, I think that instilling that, that discipline early in your career you know, really bodes well when you get into the championship rounds we've seen you know, how the Dominic Ingle effect has happened though, with Billy Joe Saunders in, against, in Canada with Lemieux um, Liam Williams against Heffron the, the discipline and, you know, and, and the structure that he's given him and they perform better because of that. So the fighters together, and now here comes the decision with Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, our referee in charge, Kieran McCann, scores this contest 60 to 54 for your winner and still undefeated, Willie the Hutch Train. Hutchinson! Complete shutout. The undefeated run continues. It's now nine out of nine.